Ladies and gentlemen, hello and you are watching TTV News with some latest events in the province. And now we come into details. Ladies and gentlemen, the Tenen Bronx Steering Committee for Mass Mobilization has basic and encouraged uh, forces on duty at concentrated isolation areas, medical isolation areas, illness treatment, and locked points in the local region of July 23rd. Mr. Lemente, head of provincial committee for mass mobilization, head of the steering committee, members of the board, and leaders of provincial Vietnam Finland Front Committee charged the trip. The team visited forces on duty to prevent and control the COVID-19 outbreak in the region, such as Yumin Chau, Ben Cao, Go Yau, and Chau Thanh District, Tang Mang Tao, and Tenen City, as well as medical forces on duty at medical center and medical isolation joints to treat infected patients. Mr. Lemonte, head of the Provincial Party Committee for Mass Mobilization, visited, encouraged, and recognized the positive contributions of the forces in concentrated isolation areas, blocked areas, and medical isolation areas also. The treatment of infected cases on behalf of the Provincial Steering Committee for Mass Mobilization. And the delegation also offered several gifts to the soldiers and stationed in the province and about 21 concentrated isolation sites, medical isolation areas, and 104 blockage locations. Each present contained cars, essential, and medical equipment worth for a total of about 300 million Vietnamese. On the morning of July 23rd, Tenen City Party Comedy Directory Nguyen Hồng Thanh and Tenen City leaders visited and encouraged the spirit of authority, employees, nurses and physicians at the City Medical Center for the COVID-19 epidemic prevention. According to Dr. Nguyen Thanh of Director of Tenen City Medical Center, the City Health Center has completed more than 4,000 instances of first testing, including from life forces against the epidemic, authority and worker organization and people to identify and rinse for SARS-CoV-2. Mr. Phạm Trung Chánh, Chairman of the City People Committee, prized the sense of responsibility and the press effort of the City Health Center medical team and doctors in epidemic prevention and control and share the difficulties and hardship of her workers at the time when the epidemic is complicated in the city today. On this occasion, the City Party Committee and the City People Committee gave 20 million Vietnam Dome in half price to the City Health Center, urging medical workers to continue to perform effectively in the prevention of the COVID-19 pandemic. And ladies and gentlemen, after seven days of carefully executing Prime Minister Directive Number 16, the epidemic prevention control in Yemen Chow District has shown some positive results. As a result, district officials check and advocate the execution of epidemic prevention and control measures in the facilities and constructed isolation zones on a regular basis. Specifically, the district epidemic hotspots of Chuda Commune, Yumin Yau Tau, and Phu Ninh Commune. And at the moment, the district health center and five isolation sites have received about 412 patients, isolation at home and residence for about 1,349 patients, and fast testing for nearly 11,500 cases, and finding transporting of about 293 positive cases to the concentration area. Except for Chala and Trumit communes, there was a blockage of 62 places in 9 over 11 communes and towns in the district. The mobilization of the district COVID-19 preventive and control fund had gathered about 654 million Vietnam Dong is to July the 21st of 2021. This includes both mandatory and its kinds of goods and necessary such as hand sanitizers and medical supplies. And furthermore, leaders of communes and township people committees have intensified the mobilization of a number of vital requirements, focusing on timely help for blocked regions and need poor and disadvantaged households in the area. Mr. Võ Văn Dũng, Chairman of the Labor Confederation of the Nguyen Province, and Ms. Nguyen Thị Kim Linh, Chairwoman of the Trade Union of the Nguyen Economic Zones, visited and presented gifts to the blockade and isolation areas that were needed in Vietnam, Limited Liability Company, which is located in Thanh Nguyen Gom Industrial Zone, An Hoa War, Trang Ban Thao, on the morning of July 22nd. The group broke meals, mineral water, and instant noodles, mars, antiseptic solution, and physiological satellite 
to the people here, and it is a source of encouragement for the union members, workers, employees in the block gas and isolation area of Chowen Knitin Vietnam Company Limited to feel safe in the implementing isolation. We firstly are hearing to preventive and control the laws and fighting against the COVID-19 pandemic. On this occasion, Ms. Thi Nguyen Thi Kim Ling, chairwoman of the Trade Union of the Nen Economic Zones, presented about 5 million Vietnam Tong for the car civil servants and public employees and workers of the Nen province to the officials and the staff. The critical forces in the blockage and isolation to Yawen Knitting Vietnam Company Limited to encourage the forces to overcome challenges and effectively fulfill their size responsibilities. Furthermore, the Tenant Provincial Labor Union and the Tenant Economic Joint Strike Union also paid a visit and presented gifts to union members, the worker employees at Ken Lucky Vietnam Company Limited and Puli Vietnam Company Limited also, both located in Vuk Dong Municipal Parks in the Yau District. The total value of offering gifts at three businesses is about 97 million Vietnam Dong, and whereas the Tenant Province Labor Union contributes about 35 million Vietnam Dong, the Tenant Economic Joint Strike Union for about 62 million Vietnam Dong. The whole purchase for gift giving is withdrawn from the Trade Union's financial source, as it the fund for mobilizing donations from Tenant Province Associates, Unions and Enterprises. And ladies and gentlemen, in the process of establishing the new rural communes, we only try to meet the national target program criteria for establishing new rural regions with a consideration of traffic system. Despite the fact that this requirement has been met, investment in the road improvement has been ongoing. Every year the roads are destroyed and must be maintained and rebuilt in order to keep the new rural commune running. And the commune of Fuknan Yumanchow District had achieved the new style rural construction standard. The traffic system, on the other hand, necessitates a significant amount of work in order to be maintained. In Fuknan Commune, there are 57 roads totaling about 53 kilometers in length including six asphalt roads and about 51 red rail roads. Fulton Commune recently spent approximately about 79 billion Vietnam Dong to repair and enhance these about 57 roads. However, with 51 red land towns, it is such an impact on the people's journey. And furthermore, the main asphalt roads that run through Fulton Commune is destroyed and making agricultural product transportation, also the people travel, will be even more difficult. Meanwhile, traffic is one of the 19 requirements that must be met for a new rural commune's construction. Funding Commune is seeking for alternatives and want to invest in repairing and upgrading the local transportation infrastructure also. Ladies and gentlemen, the vegetable farming village in Bình Phong Hamlet, Thái Bình Commune, Châu Thành District has long been a vegetable granary, a frame store of clean green vegetables in the province. From this vegetable farming village, rural small trader green vegetable have reached many families. In recent days, the weather has had many adverse effects, affecting the growth and development of vegetables. But thanks to the experience of local farmers, the amount of vegetable supply to the market of this vegetable village are still guaranteed, contributing to alleviating the fear of shortage of green vegetables in the days of implementing social distancing recorded by reporter Sơn Vương. Even from Hamlet, there are near 100 households growing green vegetables on every. This locality supplies about 4 tons of green vegetables to the market every day, mainly the local market. During the days of elementary social distancing, according to the Directive 16 of the Prime Minister, the amount of vegetable harvested was somewhat less, decreased by about 25%, but still ensuring enough supply for the market. The easier of vegetable supply to the market in the quarantine days is still enough, still providing enough for the market, not lacking. The weather this year is a bit harsh, rain is too much rain, sunshine is too sunny, so it really affects the problem of vegetable crop. Output is much lower than every year. Currently, due to the severe weather, it rains a lot, it rains quite heavily, leading to flooded vegetable. When it is sunny, the sun is also very strong, vegetables are almost hard to roll, so the output is strong. A vegetable bed previously harvested 40 kg, now only about 25 to 30 kg per bed. Under reflected by the weather, but with Spiran, farmers in Bình Phong Hamlet grow vegetables in the duration of intercropping. That is, in the same garden we grow at least three different types of vegetables, partly because of enriching the resources, 
supply, partly to avoid the price slippage. In addition, farmers also planted vegetables at different times to ensure a stable store of vegetables that could be harvested regularly and continuously. Currently in the market due to the epidemic, people may feel that vegetables are scarce, but really, around my house and my neighbor, we still grow vegetables every day, in natural vibe for the family to eat and sell regularly. There is really no shortage of vegetables to supply to small traders who go to faraway market. According to the farmer here, in recent days, the price of vegetable has been offered by trader and slight increase. However, rural research, the cause of the increase in vegetable price is not due to the impact of the disease. In my opinion, the increase in vegetable price is normal. When vegetables are in bloom, the weather is normal, vegetables are cheap. When the weather is inclement, vegetables slow down, it's expensive. It's keep rolling like that every year. Right now, it's the time of the epidemic, but at a time of surf weather, so the price is slightly increased, about 20%, but not too much. Along with the vegetable village open from Hamlet, there are many other vegetable growing areas in the province, which are still answering the supply for the market. This sort of locally raw vegetable, combined with the sort of vegetable, tuber and root imported from the province, mainly from Dalat Lamdom, can help people feel more secure about the supply of green vegetable, especially is in the days of implementing the sunlight today. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all for today's TTV News. Thank you for sharing with us and see you next time.